This short film is a demonstration of the Intel Mobile Platform JavaScript Proof of Concept. JavaScript Interface Proof of Concept. We'll begin by viewing this Proof of Concept in Mozilla Firefox. We'll navigate to an HTM file located on this laptop's hard drive. and you can see the types of information that are available. If we come down and click the test button, the mobile platform runtime will get the information taken from the platform. The test button essentially calls into JavaScript and that JavaScript function iterates through each one of these pieces of information and this information is then taken from the Intel Mobile Platform runtime installed on this system. So quickly you can see the type of information so I don't want to talk too much about it uh, but you can see connectivity and power information, display and storage, CPU information, radio information, so anything that the Intel Mobile Platform runtime makes available because of this JavaScript interface that information can be made available to web developers. So if you have Web 2.0 applications that uh, have a richer interface than most um, web applications do, um, they, they might use Ajax, and this application uses Ajax in a way, um, all of a sudden this platform information is available to uh, web browsers. So again, looking at the the proof of concept, if you click test again, um, only those values that changed since the last time this page was updated uh, stay in red and everything else turns black. So again, I should point out that this page is not reloaded. Uh, the The data on this page is dynamically scripted using using JavaScript. If we click Start Timer, uh, we have a JavaScript timer that then goes and samples the system information once every second. And as you might suspect, most of the data doesn't change from second to second. CPU load does, latency to Intel.com does, and the available physical memory changes as well. We can also change the URL that we're interested in. Type it right. Let's look to BYU, see if it's available. And it's available also. Um, and we can stop the timer as well. Let's stop sampling. Now, because of the way this proof of concept is designed, we can also take a look at this information in Internet Explorer. We'll use the same HTM file, again a file just located on this laptop's hard drive, and you can see right away that the way we're doing this is by using JavaScript to call into an ActiveX control. We'll go ahead and allow that script, and then we'll click Test And you can see the the difference. There's really very little difference in the in the appearance of this. You know, the the, the browser draws these these two HTML files. It's the same HTML file draws them almost equivalently. If we switch back and forth between the browsers, there's not that much of a difference. Now let's quickly look at the files involved in the proof of concept. Here's the HTM file. I just happened to put these all of the files into a, the Firefox plugins directory. They don't need to be there. The only file that really needs to be here, well, actually none of them really need to be here, but I just put them here for convenience. 
because this just happens to be the default location where Mozilla Firefox looks for plugins. So here's the HTM file. Here is the the DLL that Firefox calls into to access uh, the Intel Mobile Platform SDK. And here this XPT file is essentially how Firefox figures out how to call into this DLL, this NP simple DLL. Um, so the route that the data travels in Firefox is from this HTML file, the JavaScript inside this HTML file, and then Firefox calls down into this DLL, which then makes calls into this Lefkus common DLL. And this Lefkus common DLL is shared between Firefox and Internet Explorer and it actually provides the interface into the Intel Mobile Platform runtime. Now the path, uh, the data path on Internet Explorer then is same HTM file, calls into the Intel Mobile Platform DLL which is the ActiveX control and this ActiveX control then calls into the Lefkus Common DLL, which calls into the Intel Mobile Platform Runtime.